Hi, this is Iris, and in this video, we are going to be talking about some common brioche mistakes or mistakes made in brioche knitting and how to fix them and not be afraid of them because mistakes are going to happen in brioche and um, it's actually kind of fun to know how to fix them and super empowering because then you're not afraid of your brioche knitting. The tools I like to have handy when I'm doing a brioche fixing or repair job are I like to have some locking stitch markers. I love to have a small crochet hook or, um, or this handy tool. And then I'm ready to sort of look at what is in front of me. And one thing to know about brioche is that it's always advisable to fix the brioche mistake on the side where the knit stitches are and where that mistake is visible. So notice that I've got a little mistake right here where it looks like I didn't um, move my yarn in the right direction when I was um, you know, doing a, a yarn forward. And so you can really see that shawl is visible when it should not be, it should be behind that stitch. So I'm gonna fix this mistake on this side of my knitting because that's the knit stitch side. I also have a little boo-boo the same kind of boo-boo where I did it on the back side. So this is the inside of my hat, but I'm going to fix it from the inside of my hat because if we look at the other side, it's I can I can see that this is the place where the mistake is, but it would be really, really hard for me to actually fix it from this side. So it's just super easy to turn it to the other side. So we're gonna get right into it. So I'm right at the place where the mistake is. And what you can see is that I've added the locking stitch markers on either side of the mistake area. So, and that's really just so that I feel comfortable and not worried about losing those stitches um, if something happens. Because what I'm gonna need to do is take this stitch and I'm just gonna pick it right down. The cool thing about brioche is it's really great to learn about the brioche structure by doing exactly what I'm doing right now, which is to take it apart and get used to understanding what you're seeing and how to put it back together. So this one is a pretty straightforward one, but also notice that my little um, my little knit ridges, like these guys wanna sort of stay in formation. They don't actually wanna come all the way apart. And with this particular mistake, all I'm gonna do is just very gently lift up that shawl, which should have been behind all along, and lay it to get ready to be behind. Now, before I get into fixing this, I want you to see that what I'm holding in my crochet hook right now, that's the knit stitch and this white bar, that's the wrap. So that actually is my single stitch. I'm not gonna do anything with this wrap because that's the shawl and this is the stitch that it belongs to. So the move when I'm picking up stitches and recreating that ridge is I skip the shawl because I'm not doing anything with the shawl. It has to stay with its, with its stitch. I'm going underneath the next shawl and grabbing the contrast color to pull it through that knit column. So again, what I'm looking at is I've got my stitch and my shawl, that counts as one. I'm going underneath this contrast color and I'm grabbing that, um, that Rosalinda pink, which in this particular moment is like not quite as um, contrasty as maybe I would like. So now I have a shawl, I have a stitch, I'm going to go under and let's see how it's like almost like it's doing the work for me <laughs> um, but essentially I'd be going under this white one and then grabbing the pink to pull it through to make the knit stitch and now I've got my knit my uh, stitch my shawl going under the white to grab the pink and then I know that actually I need a wrap on this particular stitch and I'll show you why I know that. Turning it back around 
So here is, um, oh, no, I don't need that one to have its own wrap. This is going to need a wrap, that's right. So here's a stitch with a wrap. Here's the brioche knit that I've just done, so that's already dealt with. So this one is just gonna be a single stitch awaiting this shawl to lay it on top. So how this will look is I will be slipping and then that's the wrap where I'll be about to knit those two together. But I just wanna show you on this side, this is the, this is the way that I um, fixed this particular stitch. And you can see that things look normal again right down here. Here we are at a brioche mistake on the right side. So you can see that's a really easy one to see because this is the front side of my hat. And I can right away see that this um, a stitch was not, the, the shawl was placed in the wrong place. So I've got my two stitch markers on right now and I'm just going to slide that off. And with my handy tool, I'm just gonna pick my way back. Um, to get that belt placed in the right place. And I just need to lift it up and place it over. So from this side, you can see I've got my little loops here and I'm putting my crochet hook in. I've got my stitch and I've got the shawl, which is the contrast yarn right behind it. I'm gonna go underneath um, that contrast yarn and then grab the white and pull it through the loop. So now I've got stitch I've got shawl. I need to go underneath this next contrast, grab the white, and pull it through. Shawl, under, grab through. There's the shawl, so I'm going to go under the next one, grab the white, and pull through. And that one is like just really wanting to do my job for me. And then here we are ready to do a brioche knit stitch. So that was a super easy one. So I've been happily brioche knitting along and then all of a sudden I'm getting ready to do this brioche knit stitch. So let's do that. And I noticed that this per should be a, um, a, a slip, but what I'm seeing is there's no shawl right around this. Like, Notice how this stitch here, I've got the stitch and I can see that white shawl. Here, I'm just seeing a regular old pearl and oh, here's where it happened. It looks like that um, pearl shawl just like slipped down a little bit behind. So that's again, a really easy one to fix and very common in brioche. And I'm actually not even gonna bother um, putting these stitches on markers right now because, or um, stitch, stitch markers, because this is just a really, really easy one to fix. All right, so I've got my stitch that I've just unpicked and it is literally as simple as, I'm just grabbing that stitch. I'm, here's the shawl, the shawl, the shawl that it should be wearing is here. It was just double shawling it, which, you know, too much of a good thing is too much sometimes. So I go underneath, this guy and then I pull through my pink and voila I'm back in business I've got a stitch that now has a shawl and it looks normal and I'm ready to um, wrap it and then keep brioche knitting all the way around oh not gonna purl that one so easy to move this stitch forward and think like, oh, I'm gonna purl it, and that's what we just fixed. So it's yarn forward slip, and then knit into that brioche. Yarn forward slip, and then knit into that brioche knit. Just like that. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you will have the confidence to feel like you can identify and fix your own brioche mistakes. And if you like this video, consider subscribing to our channel, giving it a like, or leaving us a comment. Thanks so much and happy knitting!